Does your coffee turn out different every time? Do you want to know how to get a consistent cup day in and day out? Let's talk about how much coffee per cup. The ideal coffee ratio is about 1 is to 12 or 1 is to 15. That means you use 1 gram of coffee for every 12 grams of water or 1 gram of coffee for every 15 grams of water. If you do the math, the 1 is to 12 ratio works out to be 15 grams of coffee for a 6 ounce cup, that's about 180 milliliters. And the 1 is to 15 ratio works out to be about 12 grams of coffee for a 6 ounce cup. Again, that's 180 milliliters. To understand the difference between the two ratios, we're going to brew two cups of coffee, one with 12 grams and another with 15 grams. And then we'll compare the difference between the two. Let's get started. I've just got a regular kitchen scale here, which I put a bowl on. I'm going to turn it on and we'll start filling it up with coffee beans, freshly roasted of course, and we'll measure out 12 grams. Now let's grind the coffee. Uh, I'm gonna be using a French press, so I'm gonna use a coarse grind. Let's go ahead and start emptying out the grounds into the French press. I'm also going to give the uh, grinder a little bit of a tap to dislodge any stuck grounds. Once all that's been emptied out, you'll notice I'm brewing on the scale itself. And uh, that's going to help because it'll help us measure the exact amount of water that we need. So I'm going to pour out 30 to 40 grams of water. Uh, to start with and what that's going to do is it's going to bloom the coffee it will wet the coffee grounds as evenly as possible and what blooming does is it helps release any carbon dioxide that's in the coffee uh, coffee grounds and uh, as a result when we add the rest of the water the water and the coffee grounds will be able to interact much better now that the coffee is bloomed i'm going to add the rest of the water i'm going to keep my eye on the scale to make sure that i stop as close to 180 grams as possible and 180 grams if water is equal to 180 milliliters, which is equal to six ounces. So that's what we're looking for. With the water poured out, I'm just gonna take a spoon and very gently stir it, uh, just to get everything mixed a lot more evenly. And once I'm done stirring, I'm going to place the plunger on top of the French press and plunge down just until I hit the surface of the water. I don't want to go any further, I just want to touch the surface of the water with the plunger. We've let this brew steep for four minutes and once four minutes are up, I'm just going to plunge down uh, ever so gently. And once we're all the way down, we're going to pour it out and give it a taste. Wow, that's a good cup of coffee. We use fresh beans and fresh grounds with the 1 is to 15 ratio here, and I can't taste any bitterness at all. It has a really full mouthfeel. That's because of the French press, and I can pick up on some of the flavors that the roaster has mentioned. Dark chocolate, figs, and roasted almonds. I can definitely taste the chocolate and almonds, but I'm not picking up too much of the figs. All right, now for a cup with the 1 to 12 ratio. Remember, that's going to be equal to 15 grams of coffee for 180 milliliters or 6 ounces of water. We're going to do everything else the exact same way. The only difference here is that we've used 12 grams in the first cup and 15 grams in this cup. And then we'll brew and compare. Let's plunge, pour out, and take a sip, and then we'll see what happens. This is still a great tasting coffee. You can definitely taste the extra three grams of coffee that we added, as this cup is much bolder than the last one. It still has a full mouthfeel, but the toasty, earthy flavor is much stronger here. Three grams may not seem like much, but it makes a huge difference. So which ratio should you use? 
It depends on how bold you like your coffee. For a lighter cup, go for 12 grams. For a more intense cup, go for 15 grams. Either way, coffee is meant to be enjoyed, so stick with the ratio you prefer and feel free to play around with it. Use 13, 14 or even 16 grams. As a final thought, the brewing method will also influence your ratio. You may find 15 grams in a French press to be divine, but 15 grams in an espresso to be overpowering. Experiment and have fun! That wraps it up for this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and leave a comment. For more videos, please subscribe and check out the site at coffeeinmyveins.com.